Hey, this is David with Miller's RV in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm standing in front of a 2529 RG Mini Winnebago travel trailer. Do me a big favor, before we get started, go ahead and click on that notification bell, subscribe, and look, let us know if there's certain videos about anything, whether it's a certain type of a unit or just something about RVs in general you'd like to know. Let us know so we can put that video out for you. All that being said, let's get started and take a look at what we got here. The 2529RG is a unique floor plan. First thing you notice from the outside here, you've got two entry doors. The nice thing about that is you've got a fire escape. You've got people sleeping in the back, people sleeping in the front. It's gonna make it quick and easy to get out and get out quick. Uh, other nice thing about having two doors is you've got your own private entry door to your own master bedroom, which is always kind of cool. Look at the size of the awning on this thing from the outside. You've got an awning that goes basically from the front to the back, covers both entry doors. It's always going to be dry outside underneath this awning. Huge, huge space to stay at outside with the family. Other things on the outside you notice here is the pass-through storage. We've got a pass-through storage here that's going to go all the way through from this side to the other. You can access it from either side. Let's go inside and take a look at some of the things we have on the inside. All right, now we're inside the 2529RG. By the way, the RG is rear galley. Your kitchen is in the back of this unit. Everything is back here in the kitchen all in one spot. And for a unit this size, it's got a good amount of counter space inside of this kitchen. Counter space is prime real estate inside of these travel trailers. One of the things I like most about this floor plan is your theater seating. You've got theater seating directly across from your TV. For people who know what I'm talking about, you don't have to turn your head to find the TV in here and get a crook in your neck. Right across from the TV is your theater seating, which is really nice. You got recliners inside of there, cup holders, and of course you got storage inside of here. And a little right behind your theater seating here, just behind it, the little shelf for your phone where you can put your phone, your drink, whatever you got. But what's nice is in the back of that shelf is a wireless phone charger. Just lay your phone on top of there and it's going to charge up for you. Right across from your theater seating, we got the dinette. This dinette will drop very easily into a bed for the kiddos. Just fold the thing underneath and this table drops down. You don't have to remove it and store it anywhere. It's going to drop down. You puzzle piece the cushions in and you got a bed. Right above here is your TV we talked about and the JBL sound system. I want to talk a little bit about the sound system in here. You've got speakers inside the unit. You've got speakers outside the unit. So you can set it up so you can play the unit, the, play the speakers inside, outside, or you can play them all in tandem at the same time, which is kind of nice. It also will Bluetooth to your phone, of course, so you can play everything off of your telephone, off of your phone right over your speakers. You've also got a real good amount of storage inside of this unit for the size that it is. You've got a closet right here, drawers underneath it. You've got some drawers underneath your stove and under your refrigerator that you could put your big pots and pans in. And then over here behind the uh, dinette set, you've got some more storage drawers. So there's an ample amount of storage, like I said, for a unit this size. There's a couple more things I actually want to show you in the kitchen that's really nice before we move on to the bathroom and the back bedroom. Let's go show that real quick. All right, so here we are in the rear galley. Like I said earlier, for a unit this size, you've got a good amount of counter space. You can put your coffee pot back here in the back. You've got a nice big stainless steel sink to wash your bigger pots and pans in. Um, oh, like a, we always talk about counter space. You've got a foldable counter space here that will give you just a little bit more room. Refrigerator. The refrigerator in this unit is a 12 volt compressor driven fridge. So it's not gonna take six, seven, eight hours to get cold like the older units, the old type. It's gonna get cold in a half an hour, 45 minutes, everything in there is gonna be ready to go. All right, now let's go ahead and move to the back of the coach so I can show you the bathroom, the bathroom and the bed. All right, here we are in the back bedroom. First thing in this back bedroom that I noticed is you got your own dedicated air conditioner for the back bedroom. So it's always gonna be nice and cool back here for mom and dad. Here's your bed. On either side of the bed, you've got plenty of storage. Again, you've got wardrobe storage on either side of the bed. You've got shelf storage with drawers on either side of the bed. And then you've got a shelf that goes all the way across the top. A lot of people like to use that to store cell phones and whatnot. Also works good for a CPAP machine if that's something you have to utilize at night. Uh, and here we are behind me is the second entry door we talked about earlier. Always nice to have a separate entry door to get in and out in case you have to get in and out quick. What else we got in the bedroom we can talk about? Uh, you got a big, nice sliding barn door that'll close off and separate this bedroom from the rest of the coast, give you that privacy in the master bedroom. And look, I can't stress enough, right here off this bedroom is your pantry for the, uh, for the kitchen area. I know I talked about storage a hundred times in this coach, but that pantry in this thing is huge. Whether it's cans, box goods, you got plenty of room to keep food for a whole family inside of this and you don't have to utilize all the other little nooks and crannies for your pantry type stuff. That's a big plus. All right, so let's move on over here to the bathroom and check it out. 
All right, so here we are in the bathroom. You see I'm standing in the shower. Now, I'm not a big guy by any means, but you got a good amount of room inside the shower, plenty of elbow room, good shelving and everything in here for storage. Porcelain toilet, that's a big plus. You got a full porcelain toilet inside of here. And look, Winnebago has done some nice things inside of these coaches. This new black accents that match the sink, uh, the shower heads and match the black cabinetry that's also on the cabinetry in the kitchen. It's really, a, it's really aesthetically attractive. It's a nice looking coach all the way around. Another nice thing about the shower is this, this shower door here. Instead of having the flimsy old style curtain where you're gonna get water on the floor and everywhere, this is actually a self-cleaning. Every time you open and close this shower door, it cleans itself to keep the mildew off, which is kind of cool. So there we are at the end of our tour. Come see this thing in person. If there's anything else you'd like to see by any means, call, let us know, set up an appointment, come and see us. We'd love to show you what we got. And don't forget, always enjoy the journey. Hey, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know if you have other questions you want to answer. And if you have nothing else to do, watch one of these videos here. Subscribe so you know when more are coming out. Have a great day and enjoy the journey.